they to come. In a moment, how to live like a lord in the property of your dreams, Downton style, actual homes for sale. But now with over 10 million people watching last Sunday's Downton Abbey, seems we can't get enough of the lives and lifestyle of the Granthams and their staff. But what if you wanted to go one step further and own your own Downton Abbey? Well, here to show you how. Property experts, Martin Roberts. <laughs> <Good to see. laughs> we're looking at all kinds of property yes, levels here, not just the Abbey. No, so from the workers' cottage to Grace and Fable cottage to, if you want to own your own Downton style house, you know, the big one, a found something amazing. Oh, can't wait, can't wait. Here's Martin's first Downton property. Well, the complicated social lives of the servants and their masters is at the heart of Downton Abbey. And much of it is filmed here in Bampton in Oxfordshire. Well, back then, the workers who didn't live in the main house would have lived in cottages like these. And there's one up for sale right next door to the fictional Dog and Duck pub from the series. Well, you never know what you're going to find in these kind of places, but this Grade 2 listed cottage is actually in lovely condition with some beautifully restored features like these beams, this gorgeous fireplace. And what else we've got? And just a little tip. Whenever you're restoring a property like this, try and use authentic kind of fixtures and fittings. It really gives those finishing touches that people notice. Quite a lot of handles and locks on this door. So, if you want to live in this beautiful village, which is also the fictional home of the Granthams, how much is it going to cost you? Take a guess. So, oh, the for sale now. Oh, reckon. so, well, because it's where it is, there's a premium to be paid at any property that's linked to yeah. the Yeah, I'm guessing, but I really don't know the price of the book. Probably about 495000 Oh, well, you might be surprised. £325,000 oh. is the current asking price with Brecon and Brecon. Right. So, oh, Brecon, the church cottage. It's beautiful nice. stone, though, yes. that lovely sort of... Cotswold type on its firm. The thing I'll be looking at though, if you've got some of the little cottages and you want to make it look a bit more authentic, there are some things you can do which make it actually look a bit better that yeah. don't actually cost that much. For instance, these um, fake beams. Fake right. beams? That looks absolutely real. That is. Oh my god, this is like a banner. Look at that, it's hollow behind. You see, it's like a drain pipe. To buy something like that from, from an architectural salvage space would cost you a lot of money. This, about from £30. A metre for that, and if you want the corresponding um, joints choice to go with it, they're about. Mm. Oh, and that's as light as a yeah. plastic here. Well, you wouldn't know. Yeah, really wouldn't you know. really wouldn't know. really wouldn't know. really wouldn't know from so, actually the, the right side that it was a, a hollow base. The other thing is, if you look at the houses, do make sure you're not the beams to make sure they are <laughs> actually not the <laughs> ones. Well, there you are. Excuse Excuse Turn your little house into a bit of down to just a few exactly. false beams. How much are they going to go for? Um, well, these are about from £30 a metre for that and from £15 a metre. Right, so that's the way to do it. Now, your budget's more Crawley family than Mrs. Patmore. Martin's next property might be more your style. Well, a world away from the life of the working classes to the sort of property that Mrs. Crawley mother of Matthew would have lived in, a grace and favour home. And for that, I've come to Bristol to see a gorgeous house built around the 1700s. Well, the property is grade two listed, which brings with it good and bad news. Good news is lots of the original features like that ceiling and these incredible shutters remain. Bad news is it's costing quite a lot to get it sorted, but you know what? Who cares? Gorgeous. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. I was hoping there'd be old radiators, not new ones. Because those old cast iron radiators, the big thick ones, they're actually worth a fortune. So if you've got them in your house, do not throw them away. Well, in Downton days, Lord Grantham would have just sent some of his workers down here to sort this place out. However, nowadays, it's going to be down to whoever buys it. Therefore, it's really important the price that's paid. Well, it's going to auction. So what do you think the guide price is? 
So, actually going for an auction, 31st of October, Morgan Beddo, it's in Bristol, it's both at house, so yeah. it's in Bristol. Wow. How much do you think? Well, you're going to need to do a lot of work on it. I reckon about a quarter of a million pounds it's going to cost right. you to get that up to scratch. I still don't think you're going to get it for much less than a million. Yeah. Um, Finish, they reckon it to be worth about 1.2, 1.1 million, yeah. but the guide price at auction, oh, 650 That's a snip. That's, That's the guide price, so if people are bidding on it, it yeah. might go up. Yeah. You only need two people who want it. Exactly. Martin, but, you know, I think get it around that kind of price, spend that money and a bit of effort on it. But you can just sort your radiators out. That right? house, as I said, it had the radiators removed, but it would have originally had something like this. You can get this kind of thing from an architectural salvage place, yeah. but this is actually a reproduction. It's going to cost you about 280 quid. And look at it, it's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And again, it's those little details yeah. which will give the property the feeling that, uh, well, that down to the feeling, and that's what we're after. And you wouldn't know that this wasn't no, the way absolutely thing. not. But perhaps from this little uh, tap on the bottom, we've got a <laughs> very nice stainless steel tap on the bottom good. of it. <laughs> that apart, yes, it's, it's all good. good. Roughing up. Yeah. Last but not least, if you have the means <laughs> and the ambition, <laughs> you can have your very own sprawling country estate. You are going to love this. I am. <laughs> Well, the real star of Downton Abbey, of course, is the Abbey itself. So if you've got the budget for a stately home and fancy yourself as the next Lord Grantham, where do you start? Well, you could do a lot worse off than this. A beautiful, grade one listed Georgian country house just on the outskirts of Exeter. Obviously, it's big, but it has a really lovely, homely feel to it. And the craftsmanship and attention to detail everywhere you look is extraordinary. I mean, just this surrounds the mirror here. Look at the detail in that carving. The house was actually built for a newly married couple in the 1830s. And reputedly, those stained glass windows were a marriage gift for William IV. So, with 27 bedrooms, 8 bathrooms, over 100 acres of land, there's easily enough space for everybody. The Dowager Countess, Lady Mary and Matthew Crawley, the whole Grantham family, or perhaps you. So, how much do you reckon? <laughs> oh goodness, you know, of course the drawing room here at AT Towers is modelled on that very... A hundred acres! I can see you in that. No, I can see Mrs T in one way and me in the other way. But this, it actually comes with the title as well, which is extraordinary. So you get some kind of, a, you know, a, a title. Lord of the yeah, Manor of exactly. Whatever. Millions. You can buy it. Millions, millions, yes. Millions, millions. It's, a, it's in just outside the exit. Manhead House, yeah. available through Stroke and Parker for asking price... Two million. Not bad. Actually, eight. Oh, a snip. Eight million. But you know what? If it's tea, pack your suitcase. <laughs> you can have whichever yeah. one you want, however you want. <laughs> no, but you know, it's a lot of property for the money. Um, you use a lot of yeah. a lot of bang for your bucks. Yeah. So. But the wood carving, the, yeah. I mean, you can do it on a smaller scale. Yeah. I gather these panels are about £200, lovely. Carved, yes. Yeah. But I mean, it's something you should actually take on yourself. You can get wood carving kits. There's something called the British Woodcarvers Association. They'll give you lots of advice on how to do this. <laughs> these have actually all been done by amateurs. Oh, there's, there's one here with a fishing rod on yeah, it. Yeah, that's right at your street. To us, but uh, Abingdon Town Council, thank you for lending this. this. <laughs> they do no. know. I'm sorry. But it's lovely. Abingdon Town Council have great taste, ladies and gentlemen. But this, yes. now you could own this, you apparently. Could, this uh, yes, medieval actually, building site carved out of a yeah. single piece of wood. And it's going to auction uh, in aid of charity. The starting bid is a thousand pounds. Again, all the money raised from, from the sale of that by the, the British Wood Carvers Association oh. going to charity. Beautiful. And if you can't afford the eight million, maybe you can afford that to put in your modest terrace. Yes, if not in my <laughs> large country abode that Mrs. T will say, don't even think about it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my thanks to Martin Roberts, Esquire. <laughs> Thank you.